Today we drive the new Audi A4 Allroad. The main difference between this car and the standard Audi A4 is more ground clearance and all-wheel drive. But before we drive off-road, we go on-road first. In everyday use, the differences between the Audi A4 and its off-road brother, the A4 Allroad, are barely noticeable. This includes the handling, the great finishing of the well-chosen materials and the list of equipment options. On the road, the all-road does behave as the standard Audi A4. It is as agile as the A4, it is as fast as the A4 and very important, it is the same fun to drive. But you can go off the track as well. Right here, on unpaved roads, loose gravel or dirt, the A4 all-road really gets to show off its talents. Thanks to the well-tuned four-wheel drive and extra ground clearance, you can drive here without needing to worry about it. The new all-wheel drive Ultra should prove particularly interesting for drivers who spend most of their time on the road and only very occasionally on demanding surfaces. It provides the Audi with the best of both worlds. Here we see a cutaway model of the new drivetrain with Ultra technology, which features a highly efficient transaxle. This can be available as a dual-clutch S-Tronic. It will also be available as a manual transmission. With this efficient transaxle, we've developed a controlled all-wheel drive clutch. What we've ensured with this drivetrain is that wherever no difference can be felt between driving in front-wheel or four-wheel drive, we shut down the whole rear driveline and thus prevent drag losses, which otherwise would occur in all-wheel drive. And this puts the consumption at a level of a standard front-wheel drive. As I said, it was a key development target to ensure that in any situation where a difference in drivability would occur between front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive, the car will have selected all-wheel drive. To ensure this, we've developed a very sophisticated system that detects the driving conditions 100 times every second to see how far away the front wheels are from their grip limit. And when we get close to the limit of adhesion, we select all-wheel drive before we even really need it. What is clear, however, is that the A4 all-road is definitely not primarily an off-roader, but it can do quite a bit more than just normal roads and paths. After we've been on the road with that Audi A4 all-road for a while, we take this one here off-road now to see what the car is capable of. One reason we've changed the vehicle is that we don't want to completely ruin the aluminium wheels of our test car here on stony ground. But we also want to give you a really good look at the all-road styling details, which are more clearly shown on a white car. What makes the Audi A4 an all-road? From the exterior, that's quite easy. We have skid plates at the front and the rear of the car. And when you come to the side, you see this typical all-road claddings at, the, at these wheel arches. Very important is the car got 34 millimeters more ground clearance than the standard estate. And if you can't find anything else, here, that's the sign, all road. All of the driver assistance and safety systems offered for the A4 are also available for the all road. Of particular note here are the predictive efficiency assistant, the adaptive cruise control with traffic jam assist, and the new maneuver assist, which makes maneuvering with a trailer significantly easier. Our test car features the 3-litre 6-cylinder TDI engine that delivers 272 brake horsepower and massive 600 newton meters of torque. That's a lot of power for the car, but it drives perfectly. But overall, Audi offers six new engines for the all-road, one petrol and five diesel. The petrol engine is a 2-litre TFSI with 252 horsepower and 370 newton meters of torque. The diesel 2-litre engines come with 150, 163 or 190 horsepower. There is also a 3-litre engine, which produces 218 or 272 horsepower. The all-wheel drive Quattro comes as standard on all A4 all-roads. The new Audi A4 all-road will arrive at the dealers this summer. 
If you're looking for a good size estate with loads of comfort and the extra bit, this could be your car.